What's up friends? I've been flying the DJI Mavic Pro for about a year now and I have finally discovered my favorite intelligent flight mode. Alright, here we go. A little breezy out. I'm gonna move it forward a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Hopefully, that's you can see the screen here. Hit the little remote icon to go to to tap to fly. Hit agree. There's tap fly. Okay. That line right there is the horizon. All right. So I'm gonna hit over here. See it showing go. I'll hit go. If it's going too close between those trees, I'll hit up here. And it's changing the course just like that. If I want to speed it up, right here is the... Oh, there we go, 12.2 miles an hour. I just bumped it up 10 miles an hour faster overall. Okay, if I want to stop it, I hit that right there. Then it'll just hold that position. That's kind of the gist of it, very simple. Just keep hitting that go button and then uh, controlling the miles per hour is very simple. You just have to remember to hit record. I'll give you two reasons why I like the tap fly mode. Number one, if I want to get a shot where it's going steady, going out and up and a consistent speed, it's really difficult to keep it from turning. Like when you're holding these uh, thumb controls, it just takes a little twitch to get it to turn sideways and you got to correct it and it kind of just ruins the entire shot if you're trying to pan and fly with it for like 20 seconds and all of a sudden your thumb moves a little bit then it kind of you have to start over and or you have to edit that out with the quick shot i'll just show you um all right so we'll go towards that barn over there i'll just show you how it works we'll go 22 miles an hour Now I'm recording. So as you can see, it's going out and up. It'll just keep going. So this should be a pretty cool shot. So like if I want to speed it up or slow it down in my editing process, that I can do. But just having nice and steady going up and out is awesome. Yeah, it's just really climbing. All right, I will uh, hit stop. Boom. All right, here's what I want to test out. It does have all the sensors on it, so you can't run this in sport mode. But I'm gonna run this towards a tree and see if it stops on its own. But I'm gonna go really slow. All right, so I have this Norwegian spruce right here. I am going to fly. All right, start recording. And we're gonna slow it down. I, don't, I want plenty of time to react. 2.6 miles an hour. All right, it's coming in right towards that tree. Slow down to 2.2 miles an hour. All right, let's see if it stops. Point at it, sees it, but it's climbing up over it. This has avoiding obstacles. That's cool, it said avoiding obstacle on there, so it can sense that. And the second reason why I find the tap fly mode very helpful is because I can record myself doing something like doing like a, I might be like doing some lawn care work like run a line trimmer and if nobody else is around I can't really run a line trimmer and control the DJI Mavic Pro with this hand so I can have it if it's an area where I just want to kind of gradually fly over slowly over me doing something I can do that tap to fly and just have it slowly go over and then when I see it go past then I can pick this up have this you know somewhere nearby pick it up and hit stop so I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about I'm gonna grab my line trimmer I'm not gonna actually be running the engine so you won't see me wearing ear protection but I'll just show you on the edge of my driveway simulating what it would look like I'm gonna act like I'm trimming around these rocks right here and I'll go really slow aiming towards the tip of that tree the drone is back behind us right now 
it's probably hard to see. There's the tree right there. I'm gonna bring it all the way down at 2.2 miles an hour. I'm gonna hit record on the drone. I'll lower it down a little bit. And when I get over there, I'll hit, I'll hit fly. And then, um, yeah, see what it looks like. All right, so those are my two main reasons. Just nice, number one, nice steady flight, going up and out or, or going down. And number two is being able to work hands-free and recording yourself. All right, if you find this quick little tutorial video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up. It helps support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. If you want to connect with me throughout the week, please check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, enjoy.